This case involves the re-entry for lateral window sinus augmentation and immediate placement of a dental implant in site number four, which was previously occupied by a retained deciduous tooth, which was extracted approximately three months prior to re-entry. After a 30-second chlorhexidine 0.12% mouth rinse and appropriate local anesthetic, the patient has a full thickness trapezoidal mucoperiosteal flap elevated in the area of tooth number four. Full thickness flap reflection is accomplished past the mucogingival junction to expose the lateral wall of the maxillary sinus. A surgical high speed handpiece is used to perform the initial osteoplasty in the area of the lateral maxillary wall in the edentulous area number four down to the level of the tinted Schneiderian membrane prior to the application of a piezoelectric surgical handpiece. The piezo-surgical handpiece is utilized with a diamond round burr to perform the final osteoplasty to the level of the Schneiderian membrane with minimal chance for perforation given the unique qualities of the piezoelectric handpiece. A bugle-shaped tip is used for initial Schneiderian membrane elevation to be followed by hand curettes. Hand sinus elevators are then used for final Schneiderian membrane dissection to allow for adequate placement of particulate bone allograft and xenograft. Due to the simultaneous drilling of an osteotomy for implant placement and the desire to protect the Schneiderian membrane from the implant drills, a collagen tape material is placed into the sinus cavity prior to drilling of the implant osteotomy. A Nobel active implant protocol is used for initial drilling of the implant osteotomy up to the diameter just prior to the final diameter drill for implant placement. At this time, a combination of xenograft bovine bone and allograft human freeze-dried bone is placed via a syringe into the sinus cavity and compressed towards the medial aspect. This is done prior to placement of the implant and final placement of particulate graft material. Hand torque wrench is used per the Nobel Active Protocol for placement of a simultaneous implant in site number four. Final bone allograft and xenograft is placed into the sinus cavity and compressed around the implant 
adequately elevating the Schneiderian membrane as well. This protocol reveals drying of the gloves prior to handling of the bioexclude membrane with, with cotton gauze. The bioexclude membrane is opened from its packaging and is held with dry hands. Handling of the membrane is best served with dry gloves to prevent sticking. The membrane is fragile in its initial state, but as it absorbs blood, it becomes significantly tougher. This image shows a trimmed bioexclude membrane uh, consistent with prior protocols. However, current protocols allow for minimal to no trimming of the membrane as it can be folded upon itself. This image reveals contact with blood in the surgical field and initial hydration of the membrane which allows for it to stabilize, stay in place without any need for suturing. It is easy to manipulate the membrane to cover any grafted area and simply tuck the membrane within and even fold if need be the surgical field.